Welcome everybody, welcome to the channel Vintage Car Care. About three years ago I had an opportunity to do a repair job on a Corver sand rail. These are always interesting because it's you see how people are trying to get horsepower out of these Corvairs and some people do some crazy stuff. Well, you'll see as I disassembled this engine what this guy was doing to get horsepower. This engine threw a rod on number one, just made an absolute mess of the case, the crank, everything. Basically, the whole bottom end was junk at that point. So, you may want to like and subscribe to this channel. I try to bring fresh material. I've got a lot of stories, a lot of videos. I've taken videos for years of various Corvairs and Corvair projects. You may want to like and subscribe. Would appreciate it if you do. So for about the next three minutes, sit back and enjoy as I go through the disassembly of a Corvair engine that just absolutely made a mess. So have a great okay, day. Okay, here we have the sand rail engine. You'll notice the exotic intake. Uh, that's probably another story just in itself. But let's take a look inside here. Oh, boy, I see some damage. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, well, this is what they look like when they toss rods. This is usually caused by just revving the crap out of it. And that's probably what happened here. But you'll notice that the case is totally trashed. The crankshaft, obviously, I see some very dark uh, signs on here. This means that it got super hot. Let me see if I can point to that. It got hot. So anytime you see that, it was probably a lot of oil temperatures. It just quit lubricating and they start tossing things. You can see all the fragments that uh, chucked. I don't know how many cylinders I'm going to be able to get out of this thing. I don't know how. Uh, it's just a mess. So obviously at a minimum he's looking at a case and a crank and obviously some pistons and cylinders. So uh, I'm going to continue to yank this thing apart. I'll kind of guys, I'll keep you guys kind of up to date as to what's going on, but this is what it looks like when a uh, Corvair engine tosses the cookies, or in this case, tosses the rods. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm disassembling this uh, Corvair sand rail motor that tossed its cookies. You'll see uh, one and two, just nasty. Did a lot of damage. Anyway, uh, first thing I want to do is take the heads off. So, the first thing that I'm noticing here is you'll notice we got the U towards you. We got the U towards you. Oh, wait a minute. There's no U towards you. So obviously these guides were in backwards, and you can see how it has oblonged the hole that they go through. So that right there is a problem. Yeah, I'm sure it was pro causing some kind of problem. The other thing that I've noticed is if you'll look on this particular, let me see if I can get my finger on there. Do you see how there's a wear mark there? That means that the rocker was actually running on these aluminum valve retainers. So, typical sand rail stuff. Over here we got, he did spend the money on some grooved rocker balls. These, are, these have the grooves to them. And he does have these stops that are theoretically not going to back off under high RPM. So as I work through this engine, um, I'm going to try and highlight any of the mistakes that I see. And then hopefully we as Corvair tip professionals can stay away from that type of practice. This is Mark. Well, that's going to conclude today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please consider liking and subscribing. Helps me keep these videos out to you guys out there in the Corvair world. And once again, get out and enjoy your Corvair. We'll see you next time on Vintage Car Care.